mean, I think it's really kind of hard to overstate how big a deal this is for California water. I mean, just to put this in context for people, um, you know, most of the rain falls in the top half, top third of Northern California, and we have this incredible system, hundreds of miles of reservoirs and canals, and it delivers it all over the state. But in, in dry years and in certain parts of the state, groundwater is the source of water. And the idea is in wet years, you're, you're filling it back up, you're recharging it. So in the dry times, you can use it again. In drought years like this one, it's 60%-ish. Mm -hmm. Of the state of, of the water supply that's actually used, it plays a huge role. And what's happened in some parts of the state is just people haven't been refilling it. And and there's been a lot of resistance over the years. And in, in 2009, the legislature passed a bill to try to get people just to monitor this, right? To report how much was being used. There's still parts of the state that haven't done it in response to that mm -hmm. bill. So there's there's a lot of anxiety around this. And I think for good reason. We really don't know how this is going to affect the everyday grower out there. At the same time. I mean, there's parts where there's parts of the state where the water's dropped 100 feet in the last year below ground. I mean, just incredible changes. So a lot of people were saying it's kind of long overdue, but that doesn't mean, I mean, the hard work is still to come.